Good evening, I'm Joe Holden. We start with a rapidly developing situation in Atlanta. Tonight, Philadelphia's former top cop Charles Ramsey is weighing in on the deadly shooting of a man named Rashard Brooks in Atlanta. Uh, you just don't shoot people uh, unless you absolutely have to. It has to be a last resort. And sometimes under the law, technically, uh, you could be justified. I keep hearing about, you know, he didn't have a deadly weapon. Well, there are many jurisdictions where it doesn't have to be a deadly weapon, just a dangerous weapon. The unrest in Atlanta comes amid nationwide demonstrations sparked by the death of George Floyd and the release of new videos showing his fatal encounter with police. CBS News correspondent Nancy Chen continues our coverage. The newly released body cam video shows an officer waking up Rashard Brooks in the drive through hey. of an Atlanta Wendy's. Hey man, you're parked in the middle of drive to line here. After moving his car, the 27 year old father of four tells police he does not remember blocking the lane. You don't recall just minutes ago where you were passed out behind the wheel in the drive through? Uh -uh. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm sorry if I, I just got something to eat. Eventually, officers administer a sobriety test. Will you take a preliminary breath test for me? It's yes or no. I don't want to refuse anything. Uh, it's yes or no. It's completely up to you. Yes, I will. Uh, okay, just wait here while I grab. I know, I know. You just saw your draw. Blah, 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 blah. Stop. There you go. I think you've had too much to drink to be dry. Put your hands behind your back for me. As the officer tries to arrest Brooks, a struggle begins. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation says this surveillance video shows Brooks taking off with an officer's taser just before now fired officer Garrett Rolf shoots him. You could have boxed him in. Support came in, I think, two minutes. He would have been boxed in and trapped. Why did you have to kill him? The Wendy's was torched during weekend protests. No justice! Nationwide demonstrations for police reform continued Sunday, and the attorney for George Floyd's family released disturbing new video of his May 25th death in Minneapolis. In the video, bystanders beg another responding officer to stop Derek Chauvin from pressing his knee on Floyd's neck. Nancy Chen, CBS News.